And subhanallah, walhamdulillah, we are the people of alhamdulillah. What does alhamdulillah mean? It's basically, even though we can talk about it for hours, just a brief explanation, it is two things. Alhamdulillah is two things. One part of it is that you thank Allah. Thanks is for Allah. The second part of it is appreciation. Appreciation, praise is for Allah. Two things, thanks and praise. They're two separate things. Al-Madh wa thana on the one hand, a shukr on the other hand. They're two different things. Now let's first understand the difference between these two things. You can see a beautiful building and you will praise it. But you will not thank it. You will see, a, you will see an amazing athlete. He plays football. He scored an amazing goal. You will praise the athlete. But you will not thank the athlete. You'll see a beautiful car. You'll praise the car. But you won't thank the car. And sometimes the opposite is the case. There are some people you have to thank, even though you will never praise them. That happens too. Allah Azza wa Jal, for example, describes that the Muslim has to be grateful to his parents no matter what. Even if your parents are mushrik, you have to be grateful to your parents. أَنِشْكُرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْكَ وَإِنْ جَاهَدَاكَ عَلَىٰ أَن تُشْرِكَ بِمَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٍ Even if they're struggling against you to do shirk, they want you to leave your iman and you still have to be grateful to them. You will not praise their shirk, but you will still thank them. So sometimes in life you can have praise without thanks. And sometimes in life you can have thanks without praise. I'll give you another example of thanks without praise so it becomes clear. You have the case of Fir'aun, la'anahullah. He, whether he liked it or not, he raised Musa alayhi salam in his castle. And Musa alayhi salam many years later came back to him. And he actually reminded Musa alayhi salam saying, Alam nurabbika fina walida, wa fina min umrika sinin. Didn't you live many years here? Didn't you spend, didn't we raise you as a newborn in this house? He's reminding Musa alayhi salam of his, of his favor. And obviously when someone does you a favor, you owe them thanks. So even Musa alayhi salam acknowledges the favor. And he does thank him. He says, وَتِلْكَ نِعْمَةٌ تَمُنُّهَا عَلَيَّ اِعْتَرَفْ He admitted, yes, that is a favor you did for me. When you admit someone's done you a favor, you're thanking them. He thanked even Fir'aun, even though he will never ever praise him. So you can thank someone without praising them, and you can praise someone without thanking them. When we say, Alhamdulillah, then we are saying that we praise Allah for whatever He's doing. Whatever He's doing is awesome, it's great. It couldn't be better, it's perfect. No complaints. And after we praise Him, we are also thanking Him that He did it. It's a different way of thinking. It's not like anybody else. There are other people who believe in God. Believe me, I know. I know. I meet people of all religions. There are other people who believe in God. But what they don't have, the first thing they don't have is Alhamdulillah. And some Muslims, they don't understand Alhamdulillah. So sometimes they're like, man, I don't get paid enough. But whatever, Alhamdulillah. You're not really saying Alhamdulillah. You're complaining, saying Alhamdulillah. Hey, how's it going with your family? Eh, Alhamdulillah. That's not Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, from the bottom of your heart, you're grateful. For all the, all the things that are going wrong, you're finding there's so many things that are right. If you're feeling hot, at least you're not feeling sick. There's so many other things that could be wrong with you. You know, if your car has a transmission problem, at least it doesn't have a big engine problem. There are so many other things that are going right. We are people of Alhamdulillah. You know what that means? We're constantly grateful. We're constantly positive. If we understood Alhamdulillah, we would never be depressed. The Muslim cannot be depressed. You'll find today in the Ummah, people complain about the state of the Muslims. We complain about, you know, the ignorance of the Muslims or the corruption within the Muslims. And we complain and we complain and we complain. I tell you, Allah Azza wa Jal is the one who changes our circumstances. All we need to do is turn to Him and say, Alhamdulillah, we have to be positive.